A handheld Doppler may be a useful resource for a physical therapist when obtaining a systolic blood pressure measurement. Specifically, situations for which the artery to be auscultated is situated in an area with an irregular anatomical surface. For example, at the posterior tibial artery, a Doppler may be useful. Additionally, a Doppler can be helpful when corticoff sounds or pulse pressures are inaudible or difficult to palpate. A Doppler device is a form of ultrasound transmitter and receiver that is placed over an artery distal to the placement of the blood pressure cuff. When performing a blood pressure measurement in the upper arm, as will be demonstrated in this video, it is common to utilize the radial artery, although the brachial artery is an acceptable alternative. This same technique can be utilized in the forearm, the thigh, and in the calf using the artery distal to the cuff placement. A Doppler can also be used as an alternative to digit palpation to determine the pulse obliteration pressure. The pulse obliteration pressure is the point at which the pulse disappears due to the arterial occlusion that results from a blood pressure cuff inflated to a point at or above the systolic pressure. This technique is used to establish how high a blood pressure cuff should be inflated and is also known as the maximal cuff inflation level. Listen carefully as the Doppler detects the point at which the pulse disappears during blood pressure cuff inflation. Now, listen as the Doppler detects the point at which the pulse reappears during blood pressure cuff deflation. The point at which the sound reappears is consistent with the systolic blood pressure. It is important to consider that while a Doppler can provide the systolic blood pressure measurement, it is generally less useful in obtaining a diastolic blood pressure using the audible feature of the Doppler unit and requires a more detailed understanding of ultrasound waveform interpretation than is covered in this video.